Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you must be aware, we have a series of videos related with introduction of DC uh, transmission systems. And today we have a numerical uh, example over here and showing how to apply and how to use the equations that I explained during the, um, during the classes, okay? And this example is again, one of my favorites, as you can see over here is example 1.4 um, we are calculating operating condition for a line commutate converter or current source converter HBDC link, okay? Um, let's start with this very basic statement. Imagine that we have here an HVDC point-to-point -point link, okay? And there is a resistance RL that represents the loop resistance and is connecting to transformer giving a secondary voltage of VL120. Uh, and 20 kb at each end okay what i'm telling you is we have a dc link this is the resistance that is connecting the dc link and the voltage that is coming to the ac side is 120 kb and 120 kb line to line voltage okay and and then the bridge uh, the bridge connected converters are operating based on the following parameters okay in this table you can see that one of the converter is a bridge rectifier and alpha is equal 10, 10 degree and there is a reactance of uh, 15 ohms okay on the other side we have a, a bridge that is working as inverter and there is a, del a, a delta zero 10 degrees but we have a possibility of moving that angle because we are using a alpha control and in this alpha control we have five degree margin to modify the angle delta okay and then we have a reactance for this this inverter that is 15 ohms okay there are here some questions determine the the direct current i sub d i sub d that is delivery if the converter operate considering constant delta control okay there is constant delta control but the thing is there is the possibility that that angle can change, okay? Consider, uh, consider all the parameters remain constant except alpha, calculate the maximum direct current that we can transmit using this system, okay? Okay, it's very interesting problem, okay? As you can see over here, I have a, a circuit representation. This is the circuit representation. As you can see over here, we have the, the rectifier side. This is the rectifier, okay? The rectifier where the current is going through this uh, very interesting uh, inverter, okay? In this situation, in this situation, we are using alpha control, and that is the reason that we are using the circuit model for the inverter where cosine of delta is located over there, okay? That is the constant extinguished angle control or constant uh, alpha, uh, constant uh, delta control, okay? Well, as you can see here, this is the resistance coming from the loop that is equivalent to 5 ohm as stated here in the, in the problem, in the sample. And over here, you can see, don't be scared, this is a minus. Yes, that is a minus, but that resistance is using the reactance, the equivalent reactance that we have here for this uh, inverter, but the, main, the, 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 the minus the negative uh, sign over there is coming because there are some voltage um, during the commutation, okay? Now the job is extremely simple, okay? What you need to do now, what you need to do now is, okay, we can start to use a Kirchhoff voltage law, okay? If we apply here Kirchhoff voltage law, if we apply here Kirchhoff voltage law, this voltage minus this voltage is equal to this voltage drop over here. Uh, one voltage drop across RL, one voltage drop across RC, oh, and one voltage drop here multiplied by minus, that is the, the voltage across the commutation reactance of the converter, okay? The inverter, okay? And now what we need to do is, okay, 
we know the voltage at the AC side that is VL and is 120 volts in this side and also in this side, okay? They are not represented here because this circuit is only representing the DC side, okay? That circuit over there represents only the DC side, okay? However, we know from the statement that inverter and rectifier both of them are supplied from a line-to-line -line voltage 120 kV, okay? For that reason, the voltage B0 R and B0 I, both of them are 162 kB, okay? Next step is calculating the resistance that is included here in those model, uh, the resistance that is equivalent to the commutation and is related with the reactance of the inverter and the rectifier. And what we need to do is now, uh, because both devices, the, re the the rectifier and the inverter, both of them are using a, a inductance, um, sorry, a inductive reactance of 15 ohms. When we put the number together, both resistors have a uh, um, 14.3 ohms equivalent resistance, okay? Now from there is something simple because now what we need to do is using the basic equation that we already defined using the Kirchhoff voltage law in order to obtain the current that is coming from the rectifier, okay? And now the situation is very simple because um, the first question is, if we know the conditions, alpha equal 10 degree, delta equal 15 degree, and that is coming from the uh, maximum angle that we can get from this inverter. Remember, the, uh, the starting point of the operation is delta zero equal 10 degree, but we have a margin up to 15 degrees. We are using the maximum degree over here. And as you can see over here, the current for that very specific operating condition, that current is equivalent to 611 amps, okay? But now there are another interesting question. And what is the maximum current that we can get inside this DC link? And that is extremely simple, okay? And very interesting question. Well, uh, we can get we can get the maximum power transfer in this DC link when the uh, firing angle, the uh, the firing angle or the delay angle alpha is equivalent to zero degrees. Okay, if we make the angle zero degree and putting the number together, we get that the maximum current that we can get in this uh, DC link. HBDC link, point-to-point -point link, is 1,104 amps, okay? This is a very interesting exercise. This is a beautiful exercise. I hope you enjoy, and um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Send me some comments and some feedback about the performance of those videos, and I hope you enjoy, and I hope you learn a lot from them, okay? Thank you very much for watching my videos. Thank you, and see you in next videos. Thanks.